So, Nichelle, you've been covering celebrities for, you know, a long time now. Yeah. Very, again, season of what you do. What are some of the biggest misconceptions people have about covering celebrities and celebrity culture? That it's glamorous. That you just jump <laughs> on a red carpet and it's like, da 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 hello, it's me, and I'm taking pictures, and I'm good. No. Like, I am up, you know... I, 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 I read everything every single day. I'm, uh, you know, we have our morning meeting at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm up at least two hours before reading the trades, reading all the things going through, you know, so I'm up on everything. You know, there's so much prep that goes into it. If I'm sitting down, I just interviewed, you know, the cast of Ted Lasso. I was at the premiere last night and interviewed the cast, but I'm doing hours of prep work. I mean, I'm watching the episodes, I'm doing research, I'm going, you know, we going over excuse me, we're going over questions, we're doing all that. So it's not, you know, that that minute 30 seconds that you see on ET that night, there's probably eight or nine hours of prep that go into that. And so it's, yeah, it, it's not glamorous. There are times I will be in an airport in the corner with a, with a, uh, a coat over my head tracking last minute stuff. Like, you know, it, that kind of stuff is what this job on the day to day is really about. And people are always like, oh, but you, you get your hair done every day and your makeup done. That's the thing that I like least about this job. I'm not a hair and makeup girl. I love my hair and makeup team are so talented and I know I drive them crazy because it is my least favorite thing. I'm like down there doing work while they're trying to do it. And I'm like, I got 50 other things I could be doing. And they're like, I mean, really, I just want to put a lash on you. I mean, just <laughs> really, really, really. So it's, um, yeah, there's a lot of work behind it. And um, I stay working, you know, and that's that's the thing. And that's what I try to tell because I have so many young girls who and, and, and guys, too, who say, oh, well, how do you get where you are? I want to do what you do. And also I tell them I didn't get in this business to be in entertainment. I just did not. There's no way, shape or form. I didn't care about it. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm a journalist at my core. That's who I am. And that's what I got in this business to do, to tell stories, not to to be on Entertainment Tonight, although I'm grateful for this job. It wasn't my goal. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people probably confuse that, um, you know, much like in covering sports, you know, like I love sports and it's mm -hmm. great. And I've, I've been a sports fan, but I, I really, it's the journalism part that I like. You know? Yeah. This, this, I like the sports, like, don't get me wrong, you know, but it's, I didn't get into this just to like, be around famous athletes like I, I sure really didn't care. I didn't I never <laughs> even covered sports I was doing local news here in Los Angeles I did a show called Good Day LA when I moved to LA and um I remember um David Hill used to be the president of Fox Sports and he called me one day he used to watch our morning show and he's like hey come have a come have a, a meeting with me and I'm like about what <laughs> and he's like just come over here I'm like okay so I go over there and he's like hey do you want to start doing some games for us I'm like what kind of get what games what you talking about and he was like oh you know sideline I'm like for football and he's like yeah and I'm like but I don't cover sports and he's like no but you know how to tell stories and that's what I like and I was like uh okay knowing I was about to have to go do a crack I didn't know anything about I was a football fan, but I didn't know about Tampa too. I didn't know about defenses. I didn't know any of that. So I had to like then pretty much go to football school in, for a couple months because I was like, okay, I came look real stupid. But <laughs> but yeah, like I didn't get into it. I, I, I also, I tell people this though all the time. I, I always try to work from a place of yes. And it is a little bit of the imposter syndrome because I'm still wondering like, when are they going to figure out? I didn't know what I was doing. You know, <laughs> Well, you have made some pretty dynamic pivots in your career. Like you were mm -hmm. a news anchor, like you were, you know, yeah. kind of a news junkie, and then you pivoted to sports. I'm still and a news junkie. Was, well, yes, yes, that doesn't leave you, but <laughs> yeah. I, I guess the main function of your job is is now being covering entertainment news. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I have noticed, and it's come up recently this week, especially. I don't know if you, since you keep up with everything, if you saw the viral moment of the young lady who was interviewing the city girls. And, I did. Oh, it was very cringeworthy. Oof. It was clearly an influencer they had hired to work the carpet at Rolling Loud. She's interviewing the city girls. And I believe um, one of her first questions, I forget which city girl was it JT or Young Miami. I don't know which one she asked this, but her first question was, when's the last time you slept with a broke man? Which is like very crass. And I'm probably not putting that as crassly you know, as she did. And there was a lot of response. And one of the things that I said was that, you know, just because you got a mic, that don't make you a journalist. And no. you being in entertainment, I know you are seeing more of this. So what's your perspective on how a lot of media outlets are now hiring 
influencers to do the carpet and do entertainment news. And here you are a trained journalist who went to Missouri, one of the best journalism schools in the country. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I've had celebrities say to me, like when I'm interviewing them and and it hasn't been a softball type of interview, like, what are you doing? Like thinking, who do you think you are? Like, this is supposed to be, and I'm like, no, I mean, we are an entertainment news organization, but we're a news organization. I'm a journalist. So if there's questions to ask, I'm going to ask them, you know, I'm going to ask, you know? And so um, I think that, yes, everyone now, like, and I don't want to, I don't want to pick on Portia because um, I actually really liked her a lot on Atlanta, but we just kind of saw this this week with her being upset, saying she was attacked when she went on Tamron Hall's show. Um, Tamron's a journalist, you know what I'm saying? And Tamron's going to ask questions. And like a lot of times now, I think because the celebrity world is publicists and handlers and da, 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 people think that they do have to be coddled in situations and that, you know, that they can't be held accountable. And there's a difference between like, you know, um, a blogger coming in, in DJ academics or whatever his name is doing an interview and you going and sitting down with Don Lemon, there is a difference. And like, I think now because we are in a social media society that, that those lines have been blurred so much and we see people, the success of people. I mean, I think it's rare, like, um, like young Miami, I think in what she does in her show, I think is remarkable. I really do. And I enjoy it so much. And I, but, but it is what it is. It's, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? And I think people blend that too much thinking, well, she's a talk, she's a host. She's a, no, she's not. <laughs> she's like a dope artist, but she's not like, she's got a fun show where, you know, she does her thing. Um, and it's just, it's tough. It's tough because I think when I came in this business too, it, it started when like a lot of actresses, jobs were scarce. So a lot of actresses started becoming television hosts and then, and talk show hosts and, and that type of thing. And, um, and I don't want to be the one saying they are taking our jobs, but that became the trend. And so now it's like, people think, that's what a journalist is, is a a talk show host who's a celebrity. And it's just really tough when you do feel like you're a trained journalist and you've done this your entire life. And there is a skill to this. And we see it a lot of times when people get put on the spot, like that girl with the city girls interview. and, And then she had some weird excuse or whatever, but I do feel like that you do have to know there's a skill to this. There are levels to this, you know, and that you do have to appreciate people for the skill that they have. Um, and I've seen it, you know, I just got to do a real long sit down with, with LL Cool J a couple weeks ago. And, and I've known him for such a long time, but we've never gotten to do something like that where I really got to go deep. And I was so excited and we had such a great talk. And he looked at me, he was like, like, wow, that was like, you know, and I said, yeah, because we only get red carpet two minutes, whatever. But when we get to sit down and have an interview, like we are going through it, you know. And he was just, he was kind of floored because he was like, I hadn't done really anything like that before. And he didn't, I think there was a part of him that didn't realize that's who I was, you know. (laughs) And so um, it's tough to battle that when you do feel like you're a trained journalist and you do want to walk through the world in a certain way and people mistake you for a blogger because that's what, um, the end thing is right now. Well, and it's, and it's unfortunately also a perception and stereotype. The material you cover Mm -hmm. draws like people think just because they see entertainment that there's no like real hard news dynamic there. Right. So people assume one that everybody can cover entertainment. (laughs) That's number one. And, two, and everybody they thinks think, they can. And everybody thinks they can be like, yes. just because you go to a movie don't mean you could be a movie critic. But that's sort of the thinking <laughs> that people have. It's like, yes. it's not the same thing. Yes. And so they miss that part of it. And it, I'm often amazed on this podcast 
in particular, when I interview people who are entertainers and they're actually stunned at the research that I do. Like, mm-hmm. yes, I'm going to read the book. Absolutely. If you've written a book, like Absolutely. that's what you have to do. Absolutely. And they're like, oh, I, I'm not used to that. I was like, who the hell is interviewing right. you? Right. What kind of tack head are you sitting down with that did not read your book, that did not right. take notes, that did not like... I'm stunned by that too, because usually people are like, "You read the book? You read the or like yeah. if I'm you know interviewing a celebrity, and they're like, "Oh, you saw the movie? Well, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. What are we supposed to talk about? Right. If I did? The color blue? Like, no, of course I did. 